Hi friends, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to introduce some of my favorite lipsticks and lip colors, specifically for um, dry and sensitive and chapped lips. A little bit of backstory about my own like lip condition. Both me and my sister have always had very dry and chapped lips all the time when we were growing up. We tried all different kinds of lip balms and lip masks and treatments, but nothing seems to really completely cure it and i personally have had experience where i've had a flare where my lips got so dry and painful where it was flaking and everything that i put on nothing seemed to work because our lips are so much more sensitive i think sometimes even more sensitive than the skin on our, our faces and in my experience of trying out lipsticks and lip colors it's been quite a journey because a lot of lipstick and lip color textures don't work for me very well. They tend to bunch up, they tend to um, accentuate the dryness and the flakiness on my lips. Even lipsticks that are uh, marketed as moisturizing don't necessarily work and it's very much a trial and error. I have come up with a collection of lip colors that do work for me. Most of these that I'll be talking about today, I will be emphasizing more on the texture than color. What's the most important to me um, when I'm looking for a good lipstick or a lip color is usually in the texture and the feel and how it sits on my lips. So as you will find, most of these products are actually um, K-beauty products. Korean beauty has come up with the concept of lip tints versus um, just lipsticks. So they have created a lot of very innovative um, textures and formulations that feels much more comfortable on the lips than a traditional lipstick. So um, the first one that I wanted to talk about is by this brand called Peripera. I'm sure many of you may have heard of it. It's a very popular um, brand and they are especially known for um, this very revolutionary um, texture of lip tint which is the Airy Ink Velvet lip tint. And when I first discovered this, I was really, really surprised by the texture. It's so revolutionary in its formulation. I think they were the first to come out with something like this, where it was really light and fluffy feeling. And it still maintains a wetness to it when you first put it on. Eventually, it does dry down to this semi-matte, but velvety and airy finish. Like, they named their product very, very well. I don't know how to describe it other than marshmallowy, airy, and velvety. And that's the feeling that you also get on your lips. It's not just the visual look of it. I'm gonna show you all of the colors. The first one was number one. The first one that I picked up. And then the second one is a more burnt orange cinnamony color that I also really really like using. Those two are my favorite colors for sure. And then next up I have number eight which is very similar to that last one but it's a little bit more muted and also has some more pink undertone to it. But you can see that they're very very similar. In different angles of light they almost look like the same color. But that one is definitely deeper, number two, on the second one. I don't actually know what number this one is because the sticker fell off the bottom for that one. And I also have this much more pink and blue toned color. It's quite a true pink. I don't use this one so often because um, I'm not so much a fan of blue toned colors, but it's nice to have that in the collection if I ever want to use it. Then moving on is a product that is very similar. It is also by Peripera and it is their Ink Airy Stick. It is the new version created with the same idea, I suppose, um, as the Ink Airy Velvet Tint. There's so many descriptors in the name. I have three of these. I actually discovered number seven first, which is Cinnamon Chai Tea. Um, when I was home in Malaysia and I was shopping, I actually just stumbled upon it. I hadn't heard anything about it online before and I just tried out the texture on my hand in store and I fell in love with it. I'm gonna swatch it next to the tint versions. And I don't know if you can see, but it is a much drier, matter sort of texture. 
compared to the tint version. The tint version still has a bit of a glossy wet sheen to it as opposed to the stick which is much more of a dry version but it still doesn't feel super drying on the lips but it's definitely more on the matte side. It's still blendable, you still can use it to create a gradient lip if you want and that's the great thing with a lot of these Korean tints is that they're created to both be used for a soft gradient lip um, in a very gentle wash of color or can be built up very, very strongly. They can be sheer and they can be very pigmented depending on how you want to wear it. You can create so many different looks from just one lip color. You can get both of these on Yes Style. You can get most of these products that I'm gonna be talking about on Yes Style and I will actually have a link at the bottom for new customers you'll get 10% off and for returning customers you'll get 4% off if you use that link. Here are the other colors that I recently just got. Um, number eight, Warmy Red is there. I am very bad at swatching, as you can see. Um, and also this lighter, bright coral. I'm actually wearing number eight, Warmy Red on my lips today, and I have worn it as a very full, pigmented lip. Um, when you do build up this um, ink airy stick a lot, it can get a little bit dry on the driest of lips, like myself, but I don't think it'll be pro a problem for most people. Lastly, to round up this um, velvet marshmallowy texture kind of lip product is the Nature Republic Bi Flower Triple Meringue Tint. These names are so long. <laughs> I only have one color of this, Red Brownie, and you will have seen me use this in my previous Get Ready With Me video. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check it out. This lip tint has a similar texture to the Peripera um, Airy Ink Tint, but it definitely is a lighter, glossier texture than the Peripera. This one is way less long-lasting than the Peripera. As you can see, it's super easy to shear it out if you move it immediately. Let's try putting it on for a little bit longer and not moving it. As you can see, as I'm trying to pile the color over itself it doesn't really build up that really dark color instead it's sort of pushing itself around on my hand so this one feels way more comfortable on the lips but it definitely doesn't last as long as you can see it still moves around a lot even after being put there for a while the airy, marshmallowy, velvety texture is definitely my favorite texture to wear. I feel like it's very versatile and I think it's a great alternative to Western liquid lipsticks if you want that sort of effect without the drying feeling. Um, next, I'm going to move on to a different texture which is a water tint texture. Um, I have two Korean lip tints in this category. This first one is the I'm Mimi. I'm TikTok tint lip. Unfortunately, this product is already discontinued and I am so sad that that is the case because I really do enjoy this formula for when I really don't care. If you just need a quick pick me up, this is something great to put on without a mirror. Um, it's very, very easy and a light texture. I love the packaging of it actually. There is a click button at the end to deposit product onto this sponge. It comes out as a very glossy and wet texture that is not the most buildable unless you let it dry and then you build a second or third layer. I have two colors. This is a very deep burgundy wine color. It is number TL004 Flame Action and this other bright orange one which is perfect for summer. This is one of my go-tos which is way way more sheer. It's like a bright tomatoey orange color. And the texture is just super comfortable on the lips to wear. I do know that I'm Mimi has still has um some products in their TikTok range, although they have a velvet texture and a cashmere texture yet, which from the descriptions don't sound like they would be what this is, which is a way lighter and waterier texture. But if you can find this anywhere else on the internet, 
um, I recommend checking this out because it's really cool and very very comfortable to wear on the lips and as you can see it does not dry down very quickly so again it doesn't last very long when it doesn't dry down like that but sometimes you have to sacrifice the long wearingness for comfort and just top up many more times throughout the day I am pleased to be able to tell you that this next product is still available you can get it on yes style as well next up in the water category is the water light tint from up Hue. this is what really inspired me to create this watery texture category this one feels like you're really just putting water in your lips you don't feel it when it goes on it really blends very seamlessly into the lips and dries down and is a true tint. It doesn't leave a glossy or wet texture once it has settled into the lips. And I especially enjoy this RD03 color, which is a burnt rose color. And I have really rarely seen many um, Korean lip tints created with this kind of a color. It almost has a cooling effect. Even when I'm putting it on my skin, it has this really um, tingly, cooling feeling, but not like menthol-like, not like lip glosses or lip plumpers on the Western market that makes it feel like there's something that's aggravating your lips. It's just this very gentle cooling sensation. And actually my favorite color is the berry shade, but because I throw my lipsticks very carelessly around in my purses and backpacks, I don't know where that one has gone. But this color is really, really great for me as an MLBB, my lips fit better. Um, I've always kept trying to look for MLBB shades out there. They have always leaned a bit too pink for me. And I feel like because of how dark and brown my lips are naturally are, this is a great MLBB color. So I really, really enjoy that. Moving on to my next texture category, which is jelly. I would describe this jelly category as a little bit more of a thick, plumping, sitting on top of your lips kind of textured product. They are very similar to the water tints. I was very tempted to just throw them all together in this one big category, but I do feel like they are different, especially the feeling that you're getting when you're putting them on. Um, the first one that I have to show you is the Pony Effect Favorite Fluid Lip Tint, which very sadly is not available anymore on Yes Style, which is where I first bought them. Um, I did look around on the internet and found that another K-beauty website called Tester Korea is still selling them. So if you are interested, do get your hands on them there. This texture is like I mentioned, very jelly-like, and I think that has a lot to do with the doe foot applicator. It feels very bouncy, is the best word I can describe it. It is quite a sheer texture that is very hard to build up, but I love it layered over other products, and actually I love it layered over the next product that I am going to show you. And I have this Pony Effect lip tint in three different colors. Um, first this red one, this bright orange one, which is again, great for summer. I do love my orange lip tints. And this deeper fuchsia color, which again is a color that I don't really wear very often anymore, but I think can be very pretty on some people and as you can see it's a very glossy texture i think some people would describe it as a lip gloss texture it is a little bit sticky but not tacky um, if you press your lips together after putting it on it feels very bouncy and jelly like the next one that i'm going to demonstrate is very much a different texture from the pony effect um, one and it is quite a classic amongst K-beauty lovers. I think this was the OG lip tint and this is a true, true lip tint. This is the La Biot Chateau Wine Lip Tint. Um, I have the mini versions which are adorable because they are so tiny and they look like a wine bottle. Look, it's a wine bottle, it's adorable. But these 
why I put them in the same category as the pony effect is because they have that same feeling when you put them on. They're very bouncy and they feel like the doe foot applicator doesn't directly touch your lips. It almost feels like there's a barrier that you're creating on your lips. Um, but it is quite different in the sense that it's a true tint. It really stains your lips the way wine would stain your lips. And I love putting this on underneath other products. I don't love it as a standalone because when it fades, it doesn't fade very elegantly. It sometimes like only stays in the middle of your lips and then the outside fades in a way more unnatural way. So I do like putting this underneath to create a very permanent stain and then I go over it with like the pony effect ones. Um, just to top it all off and make sure that um, it is fully covered and that it fades in the more natural way. Um, I also have another bright orange color of the La Biot. And this is a very nice bright tangerine orange that I love, love using so much. I just wanted to show you as I was trying to remove the swatches from my hand, the wine lip tints are really staining my skin and they do not leave and that's one of the great things about them but also terrible things when you are trying to remove the product i only have two more products to show you and the first of which is quite an unusual texture when i first got it i was very intrigued by an oil tint this one's by clio it's the virgin kiss tension lip oil and um, this one's a bit more pricey than all the other lip tints that I've showed you so far. Most of the other ones were under $10 and this one is $15. Granted, this is a much bigger packaging than the rest of the lip tints that I've showed you so far. I think there are a lot more products now on the market that are creating this idea of an oil tint, but I think they are more high end and less so in the affordable range. So this one's really cool. Um, as it suggests, it is an oil but it is an oil that is not sheer, as opposed to I think most, the majority of the oil lip products out there. It is super pigmented. I do not know how they do that, but it leaves a very glossy looking finish. Um, I personally love the feeling of the oil on my lips because when you have lips that are super, super dry, something like oil feels like it's nourishing the lips and Sometimes it can feel really gross and greasy, but I think this one is just about sticky enough to sit nicely on the lips and not slip everywhere. So that's the danger with having a lip oil, is that when it goes on and if you brush up against anything, it would just smear right across your face. I would not recommend um, going up to someone and brushing your lips against the white sweater while wearing this because that would be a disaster. It would definitely still transfer, but this is not something that I feel would just slip off your face um, by moving around. So I really, really like this. It is still available on Yes Style. This is a great, great product and it feels really good on the lips. Um, it doesn't last super long as you would expect. It's an oil, but um, it is so pigmented that you wouldn't need to touch it up every 30 seconds to have something on your lips. Um, the last product that I want to show you is the only true traditional bullet lipstick in this entire video. It is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick. And I nowadays really stay very far away from traditional bullet lipsticks because they tend to be super, super drying. Even though they are a satin formula, they tend not to work on me. So I was very skeptical when I saw something that was as bright and pigmented as this. I do believe it is a satin formula. Um, this is the shade Underage Red, which I know has received a lot of flack on the internet um, for Kat Von D naming it as such. And I, ha I have a suspicion that it actually has been discontinued this specific color. You can't find it on the Sephora website anymore. It's not marked as out of stock. It's just not there. Although I have seen that Outlaw does look like a similar shade to this, but this is a beautiful true red color. And it just has the most wonderful texture that is just so smooth and creamy. And 
it has the ability to last on my lips without any um, lip liner without any touch-ups even when i'm eating the most greasiest and sloppiest of foods it always really hugs my lips and stays in place it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel drying it just hugs my lips beautifully and stays there i don't know what they do but they have been successful in creating um, the perfect satin matte um, lipstick for dry and flaky lips Finally, before ending this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I do to make sure that my lip color looks as good as it can throughout the day. Um, I always carry around whatever lip color I have on my lips in my little makeup pouch when I leave the house. Um, I also carry around these Neutrogena um, single packet makeup wipes. You could use these for so many reasons, but one really good reason for lips is that if you are wearing a very full coverage, highly pigmented lip and it starts bunching up due to oil sometimes there's just no saving it by reapplying more lipstick on top it's always sometimes best to just remove it completely and reapply from scratch so that you have a clean and oil free surface to work with so this is like such a lifesaver sometimes the other thing is to make sure to exfoliate before putting on any full coverage lipsticks because if you are wearing something that is more matte it will cling on to every single little dry patch that exists on your lips so exfoliating that dead skin off is always super super helpful i just use a toothbrush mostly i have tried some lip scrubs in the past but nothing has really stood out to me in particular after um, exfoliating your lips always remember to put on some kind of lip balm that works for you i use lanolin as well as the laneige um, lip mask lip slipping mask and i leave that on while i put my makeup on until the very end i if I, it's too much i will wipe it off before putting on my lipstick sometimes i just apply my lip tint directly over it lastly always 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 remember to drink super a lot of water all the time because staying hydrated is super important not just for your lip health but also your skin health especially in this day and time where we all need to stay healthy and safe thank you so much for watching this has been a great time and i'll see you next time